everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here hi my name is neha i make video on tech and my life in the uk in today's video i'm going to talk about use layout effect if you are someone who never heard about this hook or you heard about this hook but never use it or never able to understand then this video is for you in this video i will start with the theory part and then i will move to the code part so let's start with today's video Right now in front of you, you have the documentation from React team, official documentation. You can read about it whenever you get time. Let's jump to the theory part. Now, in, to understand use layout effect, the most important thing is to understand that how the component re-renders whenever there is a state change. To explain this, I have used three scenarios and all these three are important. So first we are going to understand with use state, then we are going to understand with use effects and side effects and then with use layout effect. So for use state, let's take an example. So I have a state, simple state, messages and set messages use state. Now here what is gonna happen, this set messages is my set of function. Whenever this set message or set of function will run, my messages state will change. And due to this, my component will re-render. Let's understand that what happened behind the scenes. So your setter function got called, state changed. Then component will, sorry, new values will be calculated, new values will be calculated, component will receive new state. Just ignore the spelling, please receive the new state or it will be called with new state. After this, what will happen is next is react.js magic, which is basically diff algorithm. Its job is to compare the real DOM and understand where the changes are happening, which all nodes it has to change, create the virtual DOM. And after that, it will recalculate the layout so layout recalculation will happen and once everything is ready we will it will repaint the new uh, updated or state change component to our browser so this all happened whenever the state got changed now let's understand what will happen if this state messages is a side effect in our use effect so if i will use a use effect and this will become a dependency in our use effect, then what will happen? So the, we will start with this, setter function will be called, state got changed, new values will be calculated, component will receive new state. And after that, what will happen? Because we are using use effect, now use effect will be scheduled to be executed after repaint. So use effect will be scheduled. It will not be executed. It will be scheduled to be executed after reprint. Then what will happen? React.js magic will happen. So diff algorithm is gonna calculate where all the changes are happening. Your virtual DOM get constructed and uh, uh, compare with real DOM. Then the recalculation of the layout will happen. Repaint will be happen after that. And then use effect will be executed or will run now if you will now what is the major thing here the major thing here is your component with the new states are available on the browser on step 6 and after that use effect is running so the components which are receiving this messages will are already visible on the browser and after that whatever you have written on use effect will be executed this will cause a flicker this will cause a delay in your UI so this is the issue when you have visible flickering or delays in your UI when your state is a dependency on your use effect because it runs after the repaint and this is where the layout use layout effect comes in the picture. So for this let's understand so instead of use effect all we have to do is just use use layout effect rest of the things will remain same. Now here setter function uh, will be called state got changed 
new values will be calculated component will receive new state now here what will happen on step 3 use layout effect will be scheduled to be executed before repaint so before repaint it will happen rest of the things will remain same uh, your diff algorithm will work your recalculate the layout will happen and then your use layout effect will be executed or will run synchronously and then your repaint will happen so let me delete this and fix the numbering too okay so now if you will see here what is happening instead of after repaint use layout effect is running before that so that flickering thing or that delay won't be there everything will come on the screen in one go now let's understand this with an example so i have the same thing this is a same messaging example i have few messages here on click of this button new message will be added you can see but once this height this white box height uh, the messages will be more than this white box there will be a scroll start coming but what i'm doing here is that whenever a new message get added and scroll has to come the scroll should automatically move to the new message position so let's see the code this this is my state message message set messages this is the button code which is responsible for adding the messages i am okay instead of use layout effect let's start with the effect use effect and this messages is the dependency in my use effect and whenever this use effect will run what it is doing it is responsible for moving my scroller to the new position now i have added a delay here just to show you that what exactly happened so let's start i will add few now can you see that message is getting added and then the scroll bar is uh, going to the uh, going to the new position so this why this is happening this is happening because of this that messages has changed component has received the new, new value now use effect got scheduled uh, diff algorithm work layout got calculated repaint happened so in repaint what is happening when i'm clicking on add new message new message is coming here so that repaint is happening and after that use effect is running so that's why this delay is coming so now what i will do is i will just change it with use layout effect have i imported it yes so now let's go to the browser back let's add few and now you can see the delay is no longer there so this is the difference between use effect use layout effect this is what use layout effect is that use layout effect if you will go with the definition also is a version of use effect that fires before the browser repaint the screen and this can hurt your performance prefer use effect when possible why this is gonna hurt the performance the reason is obviously uh, here we are uh, what is happening here is that we are saying that it will run synchronously basically it will block if you have so many if you have a lot of things here then what will happen it will take a time take some time and the repaint will uh, will be paused for that time but in this case what is happening you are repainting first and then you are uh, with the then the use effect is running so that's why there is some performance issues there i hope this video was helpful for you i have a request if you like this video could you please share in your uh, social media please share at your work at your study places that would be a great help uh, if you like this video let me know in the comment section which part you are liking how i can uh, make it more better and as well as if you have new topics to uh, uh, you want a few new topics on which i should make video please let me know thank you so much for watching this video take care bye